What we've been working on this weekend is swapping the beds between the two trucks. So that's our old tour truck. That's the one that uh, cylinder liner head gasket let go. Ooh, bad timing uh, on the drive up here. Though I believe the motor is salvageable in frame rebuild because um, I never ended up with any contamination in the oil until after it cooled off. Uh, where it dribbled down in there all night long and then uh, it never overheated, never even got hot. So I believe we're going to be fine, though I don't know what I'll find inside. Anyways, so we took that one off. And we took that one off sitting right here when we lifted it up on beams and barrels. This is the 925. This is the this year's tour truck, which is looks like good good planning on my part now. And so we backed it underneath the old tour bed. And for the moment, it's just sitting there. Now, the original tour truck was a 923, uh, zero. And the 925 is a one. You know, it's been converted to the, the super singles. Even though that one has the super singles, it was never, you know, military converted, which means that I had to finagle stuff to get that tire up in there. This one, when we go to put the bed back, we find out that... Uh, it, it dramatically interferes with the tire crane stuff. So what we've done is we've spaced the bed back. And we spaced it back by, you know, one of the Ford spring mount holes. So what is that? Like three, four inches. So it's a little farther back than I would say normal, but it, you know, it does give me some nice room up there and it doesn't matter that much to me. And so we considered pulling these mounts off the frame and then, you know, re-drilling and bolting them. But there's a there's a cross member right in there, and uh, this has got that angled bumper bracket thing. And so what we've decided on doing is simply building new mounts for the bed portion. You know, because I don't want to. I don't really want to mess with the frame. The nah, bed portion doesn't really matter that much. So we'll we're building new. L-shaped mounts. We're going to weld them on you know, at these points and extend this one so that she can be clamped down nice and tight. So that seemed to work. As far as how to swap the beds over. All right, so here we have this one's a little more wobbly. We did the other one on the concrete, but this is this is where we had to pull this one off because this truck won't be moving for a while. Basically. We put these barrels in the back and added blocks under these rear corners, okay? And it was only, you know, about yay high or something like that. Then went in the front and off that center frame rail, right right where the air dryer hangs, poured a power, and we lifted it up like a dump bed, you know, a few inches. Then we put blocks between the box and the frame and lowered it back down, which tipped the back up. So then we slid blocks underneath the rear, and then we lifted it, and then lowered it, and put some more, and lift, and we could actually walk it up into the air like that, and that's how we got it off. We have some cross bracing here just to, you know, keep her stable and whatnot, and then we'll we'll push the dead truck underneath with the bulldozer and, and set her back down. Um, won't bother attaching it right now, just set it on there on some, you know, 2 by 6 cross members or something just to keep it flat and stable so we're not we're not leaving this box hanging up in the air for however many weeks it takes me to get back around to do that truck so but yeah um four barrels I suppose a, a stack of pallets obviously doing it on concrete would be better but uh, just just one porta power jack just tipped it up and just like climbing stairs one in the other end one in the other end worked a treat worked a treat pulled two beds and had it been running we'd have two beds on uh, in a single day uh, just dad and I having having never done it before um, this one will bolt right on because this is the a1 box so uh, it's already recessed. That's all been done. Um, measurements tell us that the, with 
the military must have done is put new mounts on their boxes. They didn't change the mounting points on the frames, just new mounts on their boxes. So that'll just drop right in and be perfect. So that's what we did. You cold? <laughs>